So today we're going to go over some of the basic anatomical terms that um, are a little bit different for horses than for most species. So starting up towards the head, right behind the ears, we have the pole. Moving down is the crest of the neck. Here are the withers, um, kind of this bump right before the horse's back starts, and that's where we um, determine their height from. Moving down, we have the carpus, or the knee. Um, further down, this chin area right here is the cannon bone. Moving back, we have the fetlock. And then this narrow area right here is the pastern. And lastly, right along the hook area is the coronary band. All right, so this midsection right here that so looks like a barrel is called the horse's barrel. And then we have this area right here, which is the flank. The top line of the horse's hind end is called the croup. Coming down here, we have the horse's stifle. And then finally, running down the hind leg, we have this pointy area, which is called the tarsus or the hock. So next, we're going to go over some of the directional terms that we use when talking about horse anatomy. And so if you're looking at the horse from the side, the direction closest to the horse's, or going towards the horse's head is cranial, and going towards the horse's rear is caudal. Unless you're talking about the horse's head specifically, and then going towards the front of the head is rostral, and towards the back is caudal. When looking at the horse on the side, um, we also have some other directions we use, and that would be going towards the back would be considered dorsal, and going towards the horse's stomach to be ventral. When we're talking about the horse's limbs, we have some directions we use also. So the limb closest um, to the horse's trunk is proximal, and further away, underneath the carpus, is distal. Now in the distal limb, um, we also have certain directions we use. So in the front of the distal limb, in the foreleg, we call that dorsal, and then the, towards the back is palmar. And then the hind limb, the front is dorsal, and the back is plantar. One of the last directions that we use when talking about different um, anatomical terms is medial versus lateral. So the easiest way to think about this is if you take a part of the body, such as the leg, for instance, and draw a line down the center of it. Going from that line towards the center of the horse would be considered medial, and going from that line away from the horse would be lateral.